Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. It seems like the simp levels in the comic book industry are way over 9,000. And an example of this was shown when Marvel Comics Editor-in-Chief C.B. Sobolski decided to hire the writer Alyssa Wong after she called him a racist. And this decision to hire Alyssa Wong shows how much of a simp your C.B. Sobolski is because any man with any sort of backbone and stones after being called a racist would not even consider hiring a woman who has gone out of her way to disrespect your leadership, disrespect your authority, and have absolutely no respect for professional protocol, but because your C.B. Sobolski does not understand the intangibles of manhood, he goes out of his way to hire this Overwatch writer, Alyssa Wong, after she calls him a racist in one tweet and then goes on a rant talking about how he is a racist for pretending to be a writer during the time Marvel was writing their manga comics. So when I take a critical look at your C.B. Sobolski, it's clear to me that he doesn't really have really good male life skills, nor does he understand how to be a consummate professional in a situation when you are being verbally attacked by a, somebody in your own industry. Because when you are have some male life skills, you would take a critical look at the behavior of Alyssa Wong and you would understand what's at stake here as related to the intangibles of manhood. Because when a woman like an Alyssa Wong goes out of her way to call you a racist on social media, what that is, is a crap test. And your C.B. Sobolski failed the crap test that this woman made and by giving her that job at Marvel Comics because when you have these women out here, what they will do is crap test a man to see what type of boundaries they can push and clearly this C.B. Sobolski doesn't understand what boundaries are because when somebody goes out of their way to disrespect you by calling you a racist, what they're going to do is do that so that they can see what they can get away with. And now that Alyssa Wong knows that she can get away with getting things from your C.B. Sobolski because he allowed her to breach his boundaries, she is not going to have any respect for him at the job at Marvel. Now, the reason why she's not going to have any respect for him is because he allowed her to push his boundaries. And this is what happens when you, again, don't have any male life skills. Any man out here who's been in the workplace for some time and has been seasoned in being a man will see the crap test and what he's going to do is push back by either ignoring the statements that this woman like Alyssa Wong makes or he's going to issue a statement talking about how Marvel's manga titles required someone of a certain skill set in order to do the writing and he's going to go on to talk about how Marvel Comics has always been about diversity but most men in the workplace they are going to look at this claim and they're going to brush it off and that's going to show the woman that there's going to be a boundary and that this is a boundary that won't be crossed or other guys in some cases they will push back by saying do you have anything to substantiate that I am a racist and that if you continue to persist in making statements like this I will be filing a, a libel lawsuit and a slander lawsuit and this will again check the female and let her know that her out-of-pocket behavior will not be tolerated. Unfortunately, your C.B. Sobolski seems to have a spine made out of jelly 
and that's par for the course as it relates to beta males like your C.B. Sobolski who let women like Sana Amanat run all over him and let him be used as their own personal tampon at Marvel Comics because your C.B. Sobolski again after being disrespected by this woman instead of him checking the woman he then rewards her for her out-of-pocket and egregious behavior and that's not what any man does in any workplace because men know that when you're in a workplace and a woman goes out of her way to disrespect you what's going to happen is the disrespect is going to escalate and that's why you do not reward people for disrespecting you because then you will not be able to supervise them and you will not be able to get control of their behavior in the workplace. So your C.B. Sobolski has made a major mistake in hiring Alyssa Wong and all he does has done is show everybody at Marvel that they do not need to respect him as a leader. They do not need to see him as an authority figure. And your C.B. Sobolski may have even signed his own death warrant as related to his career at Marvel because in the workplace, the game is chess, not checkers. And when you are playing checkers, you are going to be lose all the time. And when I look at your C.B. Sobolski, it's clear to me that he's playing Candyland while your Alyssa Wong is playing chess and she has set up a checkmate to take your C.B. Sobolski's job because in the game of chess you have to be seven steps ahead of your opponent and your C.B. Sobolski cannot even see what's being set up in the long term because he's so caught up in his feelings about Alyssa Wong and he's so caught up in trying to get into a covert contract with Alyssa Wong that he can't see that this woman is getting ready to set him up and that this is not the best time to be hiring women who disrespect you because we are not just in any era we are in the era of Me Too and in the era of Me Too simps like your C.B. Sobolski they get set up by women to be taken out and when I look at C.B. Sobolski I believe the only reason why he hired this woman after disrespecting her is because he wanted to get her phone number but again we are in the era of Me Too and all it takes is one allegation from a woman and a man can lose his job he can lose his professional reputation and he could possibly lose his freedom unfortunately it doesn't seem like C.B. Sobolski got that memo over at Marvel Comics as related to how a man is supposed to conduct himself in the workplace and it seems like most of the guys over at Marvel Comics haven't gotten the memo as related to how the Me Too movement has changed the workplace because when I look at how women like Heather Antos before your Alyssa Wong got hired another grossly unqualified white female who came in because a simp wanted to hire her and Alana Smith got a job at Marvel it clearly shows me that there is no real merit at Marvel Comics as related to skill set or talent and ability it's all about identity politics and it's all about what these guys feel and sadly many of these guys are thinking with the wrong head and they make decisions based on their emotions and not on logic and reason and because they don't think with logic and reason they don't know how to handle women like Alyssa Wong when they make unsubstantiated claims like your C.B. Sobolski is a racist again when some woman makes a claim like this she is crap testing you to see what she can get away with and what you have to do as a man is set a boundary and what I find to be funny is that your C.B. Sobolski can go out of his way to give this woman a pass for calling him a racist but when I made videos criticizing your C.B. Sobolski he never made any efforts to offer me a job 
and I even gave him advice on how to run and manage Marvel Comics from my decade of experience running the SJS Direct imprint. Now, I have experience publishing over 60 books, and I have lots of experience in writing fantasy and science fiction, and I have a background in writing comics, but your C.B. Sobolski didn't want to make me an offer after I criticized him, and I've criticized Marvel for many years, and I'm a heterosexual black man. He doesn't want to make me an offer for a job, and I believe the reason why he doesn't want to do that is because he's met his diversity quota over at Marvel with the hiring of Ta Nahishi Coates, and the only reason why he's hiring Alyssa Wong is because, one, he wants to meet his quota for Asian employees, and two, because he wants to get your Alyssa Wong's phone number because your Alyssa Wong is somewhat attractive, and I believe that this simp wanted to get it, create a covert contract where he would give her this job for quid pro quo, and then he would try to go out here and mack on this woman. And this is par for the course with most of these male feminists. They will go out of their way to go out here and give a woman who disrespected them a job in, in order to create the covert contract so they could get a possible opportunity at getting this woman's phone number. And what usually happens to simps like C.B. Sobolski, because they don't take their respect, what happens is these women flip them, and then after they try to make their move on them, what happens is the H they get a call from the HR department talking about sexual harassment. And again, because we are in this era of Me Too, what will happen is your C.B. Sobolski will be out of a job because in this era, we don't need to substantiate any claims as related to allegations of sexual harassment or sexual assault or sexual violence because what will happen is that one allegation can lead to your termination because of the precedent set by the conviction of Bill Cosby and because companies don't want to be held liable for allegations of sexual harassment or sexual assault or sexual violence your C.B. Sobolski is getting ready to get checkmated in the worst way in the same way your Eric Esquivel got checkmated. And because, again, your C.B. Sobolski is thinking with the wrong head, he can't see the place that he's headed to, and he can't see where that's taking him. I mean, I can see where he's headed right down the exact same road that Eric Esquivel headed down, and I can see where he's going to wind up losing his job because he has no discipline and no self-control in a situation where he's dealing with a woman who makes an accusation of racism against him. Now, when I look at this situation again, I see the simp levels being way over 9,000 in this comic book industry, and with these simp levels being way over 9,000, due to a lot of these males not having any male life skills, male survival skills, or social skills, I see a lot of guys who are going to get ready to get them set up for a termination very similar to what's going to hap what happened to Eric Esquivel and what's going to possibly happen to your C.B. Sobolski. And if you want to avoid winding up being in a situation like a C.B. Sobolski and winding up a being a workplace simp, you can pick up my book, Stop Simping in the Workplace on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats. With this book, you will learn how to avoid the pitfalls and traps that could cost you your dream job, like C.B. Sobolski just recently cost himself, and you can avoid to, you can learn how to avoid predatory females like Alyssa Wong, and you can learn how to avoid the traps that women like Alyssa Wong allegedly and possibly have set up for a guy like C.B. Sobolski. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.